Hello everyone, welcome to the yarn board. Today in this video, we are going to see how to crochet this simple, cute and elegant choker necklace and earring set. The written pattern of this set is available in my website, theyarnboldcrochet.com. Meanwhile, if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn board and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So for this project, I'll be using cotton sprout yarn, uh, which is a size 3 yarn, 100% cotton yarn from uh, Premier Yarns in color cream. And uh, it's a very nice, soft and silky yarn. And then I'll be using the same cotton sprout yarn in color celery from Premier Yarns as well. And we will need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project, some pearls, sewing nails, scissors, lobster claws, jewelry ring and uh, fish hooks or earring hooks. So with color 1 or the color celery, I am going to work a magic ring and then I will work chain 2. This chain 2 is considered as our first half double crochet and then I will work 11 more half double crochets around the magic ring and then once that is done I will be working a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 2 to close this magic ring. Then I will uh, tighten the magic ring and secure it with a knot and then I uh, will fasten off uh, work a slip stitch and weave my ends so we get a tiny little circle. So here it is one of our uh, circle and color one is done. So we are going to add a contrast border to the circle. So I am using the cream color yarn um, and I will attach that yarn in any of my stitches um, and then I will go ahead work slip stitches around on each stitch uh, around and then I will work a slip stitch on top of my starting uh, slip stitch and then uh, uh, fasten off and weave all the ends.
so we are done with one of the circles and uh, we'll be adding in more and more of these circles on the go using a slip stitch so for this uh, choker necklace we'll need nine of these circles and we'll attach them one by one on the go using a slip stitch so i'm making my uh, second uh, circle in color uh, celery now and then i will attach it to my uh, first circle since uh, this is the second uh, uh, circle i'll attach this to the first circle in any of those uh, stitches of the first circle but uh, uh, from the third circle on i'll be adding in uh, the third circle to the second one on every um, sixth stitch like um, exactly in the mid so that the uh, slip stitch joints of all these circles come in the middle so I'll show you how when we work on the third circle for now I'm just uh, 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 done with my second circle in green color I'm just gonna add in uh, this uh, second one to the first one using a slip stitch I'm just picking up any stitch on the first circle from the third circle on we'll maintain the stitch counts where we are going to join the circle and then I'll just uh, weave the ends and then uh, once that is done I will add our uh, slip stitch uh, border uh, to the second circle using the color cream like how we have done for the first circle So two of our circles are now done. I'm gonna from now on we'll uh, make more and more of these circles and add them on the go. Um, so I'm just gonna weave my ends here. So go ahead weave your ends. Then we'll start making our third circle. So now I'm done with the third circle from the join of the second circle if you see I'm going to count six stitches and then I will add in this third circle to the sixth stitch you can uh, see how I'm uh, adding in the third circle to the second one so going forward we are going to attach 
the fourth circle to the third one in the same way and then uh, the rest of the steps are same once this is done we are going to weave the ends and then fasten off and then add uh, our cream color yarn to this third circle and then work slip stitch rounds So we are done attaching our third circle to the second one. So we are going to, um, so we will need uh, six more of these circles attached to each other. So for this choker necklace that we are working, we need nine of these circles attached to each other. So in the same way, go ahead, add in more and more circles and stop once you uh, reach nine circles. So um, just follow along and uh, go ahead, add six more circles. Uh, to this uh, uh, the circles that is already added now fourth one is added so in the same way keep adding uh, circles until you reach nine circles So once we have added in all our nine circles, I'm going to again um, add my uh, color one yarn that is the celery uh, color celery yarn uh, in the sixth stitch on the leftmost side. I'm going to add in uh, the yarn and then I will work 30 uh, chains. So once 30 chains is worked, I'm going to add the lobster claws to this end of the chain and then I will weave in the ends and uh, uh, fasten off. In the same way, I'm going to add the same yarn, the color one yarn, that is uh, color celery yarn, on the rightmost side of my work, um, on the sixth stitch, and then I will again work 30 chains on this side as well. And uh, to this side of my chain, I'm going to add the jewelry ring, so that uh, mm, we can chain uh, or uh, we can uh, hook our uh, uh, choker the lobster claws will go in this ring so uh, go ahead work 30 chains on this side and add in the jewelry ring to the side and once that is added you can fasten off and weave your ends So here it is our beautiful choker necklace is done and uh, we just need a tiny bit of uh, a thing that's need to be done here. I'm going to just add in some uh, cute pearls uh, to this uh, uh, circles that we have uh, done. So I'm going to add one uh, pearl to each of these circle in the middle. So I'll be using sewing needle to sew in this uh, pearls to our circle and then I will weave the ends.
so i've added in the pearls to our uh, choker necklace now once the pearls are added it's even more prettier and uh, our uh, choker necklace the dew drop ch choker necklace is uh, now ready um, for earrings we just need uh, one of this circle uh, for um, each of our earrings so one each for our earrings and the same way I'm gonna uh, sew in my pearls to this uh, circle and then I will add a fish hook or earring hook to our earring so that's it our earring is also done so this is a complete jewelry set the dew drop uh, choker necklace and earring set it's a perfect gift idea and also it can be made uh, quickly if you are looking for a quick gift idea to someone this is a perfect um, project that you can work on so i hope you enjoyed making this project with me the written pattern of this uh, uh, necklace and earring set is available in my website theyarnbowlcrochet.com please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well thanks for watching bye